So uh, we were out Sunday night after service, and we went to Waffle House. And uh, I seen, I went out outside and got on the phone, and uh, I seen like three guys standing around their buddy on the ground, and uh, they're laughing at him and stuff. And they're like, man, you shouldn't have took that, ha ha, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I got off the phone, I went back in the Waffle House, and uh, I told my sister, I was like, yeah, there's a, you know, a drunk guy out there and, you know, some stuff. And she's like, well, did you get him saved? And I'm like, ah. I said, it hit me. And I'm like, took two bites of my food, and I look back, they're still there. And I'm like, you know, I need to go get them saved because if I don't go get them saved, then it's going to be on my hands. You know, if they go down the street and get ran over or something crazy happens to them, it's going to be on me. And so I go out there, and I'm like, you know, I went up to one of his buddies. I was like, hey, can I pray for your friend? And they're like, no, he's good, he's good. Huh? You know, they were laughing at him and stuff. Then I asked him, and he's on his knees with his uh, hand covering his face. I was like, hey, buddy, can I pray for you? And he shakes his head. He's like, yeah, you know, you can pray for me. So I put my hands on him, and I started, you know, rebuking sickness, you know, alcohol poison and all kinds of stuff. And then uh, I prayed with him, and I'm like, Lord, I said, if they haven't accepted you into their heart, I pray they would do so now. And then that's when I let into the script, and uh, all four of them got saved. And, you know, so everybody here needs to go out on the streets and make a difference because, you know, one person makes a difference. So just go out there and make a difference. Awesome job. That's exactly right. No matter where we're at, it's not just about whether we're going to go and just do it as a program because it's not a program. Winning souls and soul winning is not a program. It's a lifestyle. Amen. It's something that we do. Wherever we go, we have the light of God. And Jesus told us to let that light so shine before men that they may see your good works and then glorify your Father which is in heaven. Now, speaking of seeing, how many of you enjoy the Thomasville clip? of what's happening right now in Thomasville, Georgia. Well, Candace and Arthur, y'all come on over. These two guys have just gotten back, I believe yesterday or today, from the teams with them there in Thomasville. So Candace is going to take a minute and tell us what's been happening. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about what happened under the tent. It was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. It was such a powerful experience. People got touched the first day. Revival broke out the first day in this town. They are, were so hungry. There were children so hungry. Every day at the altar, there were hundreds of people. I would, I would be safe to say there was about at least 150, like almost every day. Um, <laughs> the mass baptism, it was so powerful. I got to stand right there and hand the towels as the people came out. Uh, families were running to the pool to, to jump in. Kids were running in by themselves. Singles, people who thought they had it together were jumping in the pools, getting saved. It was so powerful. <laughs> Pastor Daniel was preaching these radical, uncompromising messages in this crazy camo suit. I mean, full gear. He had the net helmet on and everything. He was running up and down the aisles. You, know, you guys know how he is. He's just so radical. And he just didn't care. I mean, the fire of God just touched people every night. People got delivered. Uh, okay, so at the, the, the mass baptism was going on. Then right next to it, Pastor Daniel was casting demons out. People were getting healed right, ne right next to that. And then behind us, people were just getting touched by the Lord by themselves. So it was like I was in three different services. It was the craziest thing. And I just got to say, the book of Acts is real, like Pastor Daniel says. It was so amazing, and it changed my life forever. Now, Arthur, what's been... What's happened on the streets there? Because not only did we go set up the tent, but we've been taking teams on the streets. Um, that's right, Pastor Allen. And um, we always hear about, people talk about revival. And like in the history books, it's always written. Well, Thomasville, Georgia, right now, that's what's happening over there. It's revival. People are catching the fire like never before. When we go out in the streets, we'll see people honking like, yeah, you guys are with the tent over there. And people like that are part of the community, people that are like the leaders of the community are out there preaching the gospel with us. They caught the fire, they caught the vision of this ministry and they're taking it out there. Every person that we talk to, they at least know, hey, have you heard about the Freedom Fest that we're going on? Every single person goes, yeah, yeah, my un uncle told me, my aunt told me, so the fire is spreading. Just in the six days that we were there, I believe it was 4,256 people got saved. 4,256 people 
All right, that's 20% of the population. We didn't leave the cities. We didn't go anywhere outside of the boundaries of the cities. We hit the schools. We hit the nursing homes. Everywhere we could go, we could just bring the fire of God. Like right now, I can remember this man, Kyle. He, I mean, this guy was like a Holy Ghost fire spitter. I'm talking about like as soon as we got there, he got hit by the fire of God and he went out. I was going back from so many one day and I saw him like outside of a soup kitchen and he was surrounded. I'm talking about from side to side. He was surrounded by people and they all had their hands raised, all worshiping God. And he was preaching and telling him about the Holy Spirit and telling him that Jesus came here today to save him. And this fire is just going to keep spreading throughout Georgia. And I think this is the mission that this church has right now is that we're going to spread the fire of God across America, city to city. The fire is going to go out and just touch this nation. Come on. Come on. Give the Lord a shout of praise.